branch and bound is an algorithm design paradigm for discrete and combinatorial optimization problems, as well as general real-valued problems. A branch and bound algorithm consists of a systematic enumeration of candidate solutions by means of state space search. The set of candidate solutions is thought of as forming a rooted tree with the full set at the root. The algorithm explores branches of this tree, which represents subsets of the solution set. Before enumerating the candidate solutions of a branch, the branch is checked against upper and lower estimated bounds on the optimal solution, and is discarded if it cannot produce a better solution than the best one found so far by the algorithm. The algorithm depends on the efficient estimation of the lower and upper bounds of a region, branch of the search space and approach is exhaustive, enumeration as the size of the region tends to zero. The method was first proposed by A. H. Landon A. G. Doig in 1960 for discrete programming, and has become the most commonly used tool for solving NP-hard optimization problems. The name branch and bound first occurred in the work of Little A. Al on the traveling salesman problem. Overview. The goal of a branch and bound algorithm is to find a value x that maximizes or minimizes the value of a real valued function f, called an objective function, among sim set s of admissible, or candidate solutions. The set s is called the search space, or feasible region. The rest of this section assumes that minimization of f is desired. This assumption comes without loss of generality, since one can find the maximum value of f by finding the minimum of g equals minus f. A B and B algorithm operates according to two principles. It recursively splits the search space into smaller spaces, then minimizing f on these smaller spaces. The splitting is called branching. Branching alone would amount to brute force enumeration of candidate solutions and testing the mal. To improve on the performance of brute force search, a B and B algorithm keeps track of bounds on the minimum that it is trying to find, and uses these bounds to prune the search space, eliminating candidate solutions that it can prove will not contain an optimal solution. Turning these principles into a concrete algorithm for a specific optimization problem requires some kind of data structure that represents of sets of candidate solutions. Such a representation is called an instance of the problem. Denote the set of candidate solutions of an instance I by SI. The instance representation has to come with two operations. Branch produces two or more instances that each represent a subset of SI. Bound computes a lower bound on the value of any candidate solution in the space represented by I, that is, bound F for all X in C. Solution determines whether I represents a single candidate solution. Using these operations, a B and B algorithm performs a top-down recursive search through the tree of instances formed by the branch operation. Upon visiting an instance I, it checks whether the bound is greater than the upper bound for some other instance that it already visited. If so, I may be safely discarded from the search and the recursion stops. This pruning step is usually implemented by maintaining a global variable that records the minimum upper bound seen among all instances examined so far. Generic version The following is the skeleton of a generic branch and bound algorithm for minimizing and arbitrary objective function f. To obtain an actual algorithm from this, one requires a bounding function g that computes lower bounds of f on nodes of the search tree, as well as a problem-specific branching rule. Using a heuristic, find a solution xh to the optimization problem, store its value, b equals f. B will denote the best solution found so far, and will be used as an upper bound on candidate solutions. Initialize a queue to hold a partial solution with none of the variables of the problem assigned. Loop until the queue is empty. Take a node n off the queue. If n represents a single candidate solution x and f less than b, then x is the best solution so far. Record it and set b f, else branch on n to produce new nodes ni. For each of these, 
if g greater than b, do nothing. Since the lower bound on this node is greater than the upper bound of the problem, it will never lead to the optimal solution, and can be discarded. Else, store knee on the queue. Several different queue data structures can be used. A stack will yield the depth first algorithm. A best first branch and bound algorithm can be obtained by using a priority queue that sorts nodes on their G value. The depth first variant is recommended when no good heuristic is available for producing an initial solution, because it quickly produces full solutions, and therefore upper bounds. Improvements when is a vector of branch and bound algorithms can be combined with interval analysis and contractor techniques in order to provide guaranteed enclosures of the global minimum applications. This approach is used for a number of NP-hard problems integer programming, nonlinear programming, traveling salesman problem, quadratic assignment problem, maximum satisfiability problem, nearest neighbor search. Cutting stock problem, false noise analysis, computational phylogenetics, set inversion, parameter estimation, 0 over 1 knapsack problem, feature selection in machine learning, structured prediction in computer vision, branch and bound may also be a base of various heuristics. For example, one may wish to stop branching where the gap between the upper and lower bounds becomes smaller than a certain threshold. This is used when the solution is good enough for practical purposes and can greatly reduce the computations required. This type of solution is particularly applicable when the cost function used is noisy or is the result of statistical estimates and so is not known precisely but rather only known to lie within a range of values with a specific probability. Relation to other algorithms. Now AL present a generalization of branch and bound that also subsumes the A asterisk, B asterisk and alpha beta search algorithms from artificial intelligence.